Right, Moskva game. Moskva game. Okay, so what is Moskva's strengths? Really good gun performance. Obviously, if you can get the unique upgrade, that's better. But overall, very strong gun performance and when nosing a very, very tanky ship. What are the downsides? Um, hilariously susceptible to being flanked. If you get flanked in a Moskva, even by something like a destroyer, you're probably going to get killed because your citadel is massive, it's thinly armored, and your ship is just hilariously clumsy and very easy to crossfire and kill. We got the same gearing from last game, who killed himself on purpose, so I think I'm going to play a bit more aggressive just to maybe try, try to catch one of their DDs off guard. Okay. Generally speaking, I want to be shooting here, but I don't want to be sailing straight across like this, because then you can get crossfired from here and you lose your entire health ball. So what I do is I first sail to the left, and then I sail up here to the, to, to the, to the center. The reason for sailing, like going to the side and then sailing in, is if I get spotted and shot at, this island will protect my left flank. So the biggest source of the shots coming will be here, and I'll be angled against them. So I'm preemptively sailing in such a way that I have I have angling towards where the shells will come. Because Moskva will get spotted early, it always does. Going right, this guy's going. Okay, we got Yamagiri, Yamagiri Borgoni going left. This is actually good. If you don't have any support on the left flank, pushing into this position is uh, sketchy because uh, it might means you might get flanked very easily. But now we have someone there who can scout for us, who can spot for us, so it's safer to go here now. And also means I'll be able to reverse behind this island without being shot crossfired from here. So there's a lot of advantages to actually having some support on this left flank. I got spotted as expected. Now we start angling in. One of your great strengths is 12k radar. Obviously you want to be able to use that 12k radar as much as possible. There's some early shots, but we're already angled. And we managed to get in behind the island into cover. So now I got insane radar coverage on AB. And I'll be able to even cover a part of C once I get up to this island. And I can crossfire them over here. So this is a good position for the Moskva to be in, provided you got some flanking coverage. Magere is pushing up to get the cap. Let's see if we get the vision of the Stalingrad. Maybe load some AP in case we get vision. If I get spotted, I can probably radar because it might be somewhere here. But oh, there's the Stalingrad, we switch to AP. Dispersion looks iffy. Wow, our things? That is unfortunate. But the spotting might have gotten a lot of damage in on that guy. If I get it, didn't kill himself, that's good. Let's try to put our nose around the side here. So I can maybe push up here. All my BBs. Okay, this is a big problem. All my BBs are going the same way. That's something you hate to see. You hate to see all your BBs going the same way. This guy should be going here because they don't create any crossfires if they all go the same way Magere is getting the caps Schlieffen is here uh oh this is a problem this is a big problem he can push and crush us unless Yamagiri lands insane torps on him Yeah, we get it's guaranteed then. We're gonna stick around here then. He's still alive somehow. Now he killed himself on the Schlieffen. Schlieffen is kind of scary, he can push in and brawl me, but... I'm doing so much free damage on this guy right now, I don't want to leave. GK, don't kill yourself, please. Gearing is all alone on the flank, not really doing a whole lot. I need to load HE. Good. 
Shima was last seen coming around here. There's a chance that the Shima might be dumb enough that he's pushing around the island. Let's check. Yep. We pressure him a bit. He's gone. We raise the cap a bit. That is looks like re Whoa, what the Schlieffen is actually coming around the corner. I was not expecting that. Probably because my GK ran away for some reason. He's trying to torp us, but we just back behind the island. We're just back behind the island. The island is going to block the torpedoes for us, so we're actually... It looks like a vulnerable position, but this is a very safe position. We can easily back into cover, and we're perfectly safe. Now we continue farming. Stalingrad 9, that's good. And that Stalingrad is dead, it means that the crossfire from that flank is gone. So I can I can push up. You see, the threat was him, Salgrad pushing around this flank. But he's dead. So that means we can now actually push up a bit. The Preussen is too far away, and he's not getting a crossfire. So we push up, and we start using AP on the Ohio. He'll want to shoot us. We kind of baited him a bit by turning. Yeah, there it is. He shot. But we're already turning back in, so we bounce it on the belt. Shima is back here. We go for the Shima. We slow down, so Ohio does and, or Preussen doesn't get any free shots on us. Just because we're playing aggressive doesn't mean we want to kill ourselves. While he's shooting me, the Schlieffen is getting free torpedoes in, so we kind of distracted, baited that Ohio into shooting us. And while all that was happening, Schlieffen got big torpedoes in on the Ohio. Well, actually, he landed surprisingly few torpedoes. <laughs> oh, wait, then this guy died. Wow, no way. I'm gonna have to reverse. Oh, oh shit. If that person comes around the corner, I'm gonna be in trouble. I was not expecting him to die that quickly. Wow. Oh well. Teammates are gonna teammate. His nose is unsaturated. There we go, that's good. That is good. Let's see if I get spotted now. If I get spotted, I know exactly where, what it is. It's a Shima pushing around this corner. So we're gonna slow down here a bit. This, we ready to instantly. Accelerate, turn in, so the poison doesn't get a free kill on us. Pop hydro, because it's probably torpedoing. Damn, I don't get the kill. No, I don't get the kill, he gets away, unfortunately. There's the torps. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can't slow down. We have to accelerate to dodge this, I think. No, we're not dodging it. We pre-heal. Let's take it on the nose so we take less damage. There it is. If you're gonna take a torpedo and a cruiser, take it on the nose, not on the belt. I wish my GK was a bit more aggressive. He's playing unnecessarily safe. I don't know why. But I still have Kuznetsov remaining, so that's good. Oh, person is actually... Oh, he's pushing into me? Interesting. I wasn't expecting him to run into me. Interesting choice. Okay, so we know that Shima will want to come that way. We're gonna be prepared for the Shima. Probably gonna try to drive by here and torp us. Almost guaranteed. He's pushing... I'm gonna bait this guy in though, we're just gonna reverse. And bait him in. I got a gearing on my right. He's gonna have to react to that. We're gonna get away from this gap so the Shima doesn't get free torps on us. He DCP'd. We're baiting him into the torpedoes. Why would I fight him fairly when I got a teammate advantage? There's the Kashima. He really tried to go for that. We didn't let him. With ECP, because if we take more damage, Kuznetsov will save us. Torpedoes crush him. And Shima doesn't get any free crossfires. Moskva gameplay is all about managing the crossfires. As long as you can put your nose against the enemy, you're golden. 
The second they start getting your crossfire, that's when you need to play more safe. There's the torpedoes we predicted, because we knew what we was, he was doing. It was the logical choice. He was going to try to get our crossfire. That's what everyone does against a Moskva. They try to get the crossfire on the Moskva. Because that's the best way to kill a Moskva. As long as you realize that what the enemy wants, it's pretty easy to predict and play around. He's right here. We got radar ready in four seconds. He's probably nosing somewhere here. Or he's going around like this. But we can preemptively radar. Yeah, there he is. He's nose in, because he thought he was safe, but I'm radaring for my gearing, so my gearing gets a free kill, and there's nothing he can do about it. Moskva's strength is vision control, and the fact that you're such a stupidly tanky cruiser. So it's very hard to dislodge you if you go into a strong position. Like, we basically didn't move much. We sailed into a central position, and then we just sat there, and we kind of dared the enemy to try to dislodge us. And they tried, but they couldn't. So, that's Moskva. That is uh, basic Moskva gameplay. Of course, Arya might get a kill himself instantly, but it happens. And our GK could have played a lot more aggressive. It happens, but in the end, we still tanked 1.6 million, 88k damage, but we still had Kuznetsov and still had a full heal remaining. So we were nowhere near dying at any point. We were perfectly safe throughout the entire match. Hmm. If there's a CV, obviously you can't do any of this positional play. If there's a carrier, you turn your nose away from the objective and from the action, and you kite, and you kite, and you kite, because when the CV strikes you, you have to be able to able to evade the strike, otherwise it just kills you very quickly. So uh, you keep that in mind. You can't take a fun, aggressive position with a carry in a carrier game, because the carrier will just dumpster you. So One of the reasons why I hate carriers... Uh, Reduces camping means you can't take any aggressive spots means uh, you have to play in your spawn kited away and it's kind of boring. Yeah, just dodge. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't dodge in Moskva ever anything because your turning circle is, well, if this, this would disappear, your turning circle is 1050 meters, so... And your rudder ship is 11, so it's and the citadel. What people don't understand is the citadel is literally this big. <laughs> this is your citadel, it's all citadel. You know, any crossfire on this thing, and you just you just explode. Indeed, is close range citadel, you minotaurs drive buying citadel, you everything citadel. 